everybody, Anne here. I tell you what, this has been a weird morning. It's probably even afternoon right now. I don't know what time it is. So I had my coffee and then it was freezing cold this morning. It was literally freezing cold. There was frost on the ground and everything. I let the chickens out, did all that. Came in, lit a fire, uh, put a big pot of water on because I wanted to take a nice hot shower this morning. Took my hot shower, sat back, was drinking my coffee. And all of a sudden, I fell asleep. I was just so not tired. I was just so comfortable. And I just, you know what? I ended up going, laying down with my Judy girl. And I took a nice long nap. And there was just a knock at the door. Knock, knock, knock. Hardly anybody knocks on my door. I don't get that many visitors. And so, guess what? Guess what, you guys? <laughs> Looky here, you know what time it is. Something came from Amazon. I may know what this is. I'm not sure, I might, I might not. Let's just go ahead and open it up and see. Oh my goodness, please, please let it be this thing. Somebody told me they were getting me something off of my wish list. Hold on, let me just get this tape on done. Okay, here it is. It is. It is what I think it is, you guys. Do you know what that is? That is a Fisker's Axe. Let me get the bubble wrap off. I am now the proud owner of a Fisker's One Strike 17 inch Axe. Look at that, you guys. All right, I put this on my wish list and I got an email a few days later and I don't I don't have permission to say who this is from yet, so I'm going to ask and if it's okay, I will let you know. But um I did a lot of research, you guys, and my research led me to the fact that I'm I'm just not so sure I'm ready for a chainsaw yet, but I needed to get something that I thought I could handle. And I think I can handle this. It is a shorter handle. And I did so much research on what would be the best axe to get. And I wasn't sure that I could really handle one of the long, long axes. And I wanted one that was going to be reliable. One that tree trimmers like to use. And I speak to I spoke to some people who actually do that for a living. And they said that this is a good brand of axe, either the shorter ones or the longer ones. Fisker's products are supposed to be really good. I looked at the reviews, I watched reviews on YouTube, and I just came to the conclusion that this was going to be the axe that I needed. So I'm going to give this a try today. I am so very, very, very excited about this. Oh my gosh, I need to I need to perk up. I need to get outside and I need to give this a try. First of all, it has a really, really nice cover on it. And let's see how easy it is for me to do this one-handed. There we go. Open it up. Slides right out. <sighs> Look at that, you guys. <gasps> that looks sharp. All right, I'm going to go out and give it a try. Now this this log didn't really need to be cut that much in half, but I just wanted to give it a try. Alright, this is a let's see if I can get it even smaller. Alright, this is on a slant, so oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I mean I didn't get it square, but that's okay. Let's see what happens if I just do this. Oh, that's hard. That's not going to work that way. Well, I don't think I need to split this any more than that. So let me try another one. <sighs> and this is hard hardwood. So let me put this. Let's see if I can put it that way. All right. Normally people swing these with one hand, but I'm doing it with two. So let's see what happens. 
Oh my gosh. You guys, this, this, this right here, this little, whoops. <laughs> Fisker's axe is empowering. I should do an Amazon video. All right. Okay. Let's see. Whoops. Not quite, but I did get a good piece of the side out of it. So let me just get the rest of that. There. That's okay. I need some kindling. <laughs> it's kind of crooked. Okay, let's see if I can do this again. Man, straight through that wood. And this, it feels good in my hand. It feels, I don't know if I'm even holding it right. So, yeah, I think it's going to be this way. Oh, man, it's cutting. It's slicing through this wood like butter. I can't believe it. I can't freaking believe it. All right. Let's try another one here. This one is weird shaped. Uh, got all this weird stuff on the top. What do you think? Do you think I'm going to be able to do it, you guys? With my new Fiskers? Fiskers? <laughs> I, I'm not comfortable holding it this way. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> There's a piece over there. All right. I didn't cut it exactly right. So... Let's try this again. There's a piece over there. Oh my. There it is. All right, let's try this again. Right on. Right on. This is an amazing axe, you guys. And for a woman, I tell you what. Huh. Look at my pretty stump here. It's pretty soft, but it'll work. All right, I need to find out if the person who sent this to me says it's okay for me to tell them who it is. All right. I don't know that I need to cut down any more wood. Um, I need to saw some wood, but uh, I don't know if I can use that to chop it. So I'm just going to take all this wood inside and have it for a fire for tonight. Oh my gosh, what a relief. I can do this. Whoops. I can do this with this axe, you guys. This is absolutely wonderful. It feels good in my hands. This blade is so gosh darn sharp. And it goes through the wood like butter. Yes! Sorry my head was cut off in the other ones, but um, I'm still getting used to this tripod. Anyway, this Fisker's axe is wonderful. I'm 56 years old and I've never cut wood before. I'm just learning how to do all this stuff and this thing went through that wood and I'm, I'm not a good aim. I was always the one that got picked last for the, you know, like the softball team and whatnot because I can just, and tennis, oh my gosh, forget it, no. But this, I don't know, somehow it just goes up and if you kind of get it in the area of the wood you're gonna be able to strike it and it cuts it right through so yeah you guys I highly recommend this and I love it I love it thank you lovely person for getting me this Whew. I tell you what a nice thing to wake up from a nap to that's for sure I want to get a really good look at what this axe looks like and this is what this side looks like and the blade is sharp as heck. And see that, how it's kind of angled there out um, away from this part of the ax. It looks beautiful. I, I'm not sure what this is made out of. Might be fiberglass, I'm not sure. It is lightweight and it is hollow. It's got a little thing you can strap it up with and the handle has like little grips on it so it feels really comfortable it doesn't slip of course I always wear my gloves when I'm doing stuff like this but it is one one heck of an axe you guys oh my gosh you know what I know this handle doesn't weigh anything but this this thing is heavy I don't know how much it weighs but it feels really good swinging it so 
I think I'm going to be able to process quite a bit of wood with this lovely, lovely axe. I want to see if I can put this back in the sheath with one hand. This is going to be interesting. Uh, that's what they have tripods for, my dear. I don't think I can do it. I can. Oh my goodness. Of course you can. Whoops. <laughs> my arthritic fingers. <laughs> there you go. And there you have it, folks. Isn't that beautiful? Look, I made tacos. And Romeo wants some of my tacos. <laughs> he almost tried to get some. Yep, dandelion greens. Um, I use this taco mix. No, you can't have my drink either. And it's uh, it's canned, actually. It's by Pace. I'll throw up a picture of it in a little bit. Just made some tacos with it. And all I had was mozzarella cheese, some hot sauce, dandelion greens. I'm going to eat it. And I don't know. Maybe just go to bed. I mean, I basically napped away my whole day. That's weird. Very weird. But it was lovely. Anyhow. I still haven't heard back from the person who uh, got me the axe, so if I find out by the time this video publishes, I'll put it in the comments section down below. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.